Hello and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, we will see how we can create a class destructor. So now, what is a destructor? Now, the destructor is the opposite of constructor. Okay. After we are uh, like done with the class and we wanna let's say close some SQL connection, uh, try to dispose some used resources to free up some memory, we are be using the destructor okay so now to define an instructor we need a tilde okay and we need the student or the name of the class okay and that's pretty much all what we need for a, con a destructor okay now inside the destructor like if you having a, a database connection or a sql connection you can come over here and just like do a dispose over here or even like if you have an IO operation or a or a other operation like network operation retrieving a file etc or you want to just free up some memory okay you can come over here call in the dispose and end the operation you want okay so that's for uh, a destructor okay and also uh, like we can come over here and say the GBA equal null. Oops. Okay, we cannot convert it to null. I'm sorry. We can use like, like here in the destructor, we can just say like a zero to reset the GBA. Okay. Or use whatever like uh, you want. Just make sure that you use over here the things you want to dispose or to stop. Uh, it will not have an effect on the like the definition let me show you as you notice we can just work uh, just fine with the uh, with the destructor in place we don't need to like uh, specify uh, anything okay so that's pretty much for the class destructor 